ladies and most of you gentlemen today we are going to talk about mechanomes and more specifically we're going to take a look at their heritage armor which is coming to the game in patch 8.3 with this brand new allied race for the alliance uh, if you want to know about the customization options for the mechanomes i do have a full video on that uh, check that out in the top right of your screen right now or in the description below this video but yeah like all allied races these gnomes have a heritage armor and it is pretty damn interesting there's a lot to talk about so guys let's Let's just jump straight in and take a look at the Mechanome Heritage Armor. Okay, so this armor is pretty interesting due to the fact that when you put it on, you essentially look like those full robotic NPCs from Mechagon and the Mechagon Dungeon. And that is obviously the reason for this armor. Uh, when you have a Mechagnome, you don't have the option to be full metallic, you don't have the option for a metal head, like a full metal head, and you don't have the option for a full metal body either. And this armor brings in the option for you as a transmog option. Because I think if they had this as a customization option, the issue would be that you could put gear on top of it, and that's not really the point. So obviously you can mix and match this, but this set is actually kind of interesting because Mechagnomes, if you didn't know, do not have textures that go over the arms and legs on any kind of gear. Literally any gear set that has arms and legs doesn't work on a Mechagnome. So that's uh, something to keep in mind before you make one. And obviously this armor utilizes the, that fact because it actually has no feet or gloves. It, it does have pants though, and I don't know why, uh, because you don't actually see them. So essentially this gear is just chest, shoulders, helm, belt, and cloak. And I really do like the cloak, but yeah, overall this is a pretty nice set. I absolutely love the helm on this set. It, it is actually pretty funny how you can have like a full metallic head with a massive cog just spinning on on the top of it and uh, it looks really great on the male and the females. Uh, obviously one customization option for the Mechanomes is the fact that you can change the arm and leg colors. Uh, you have silver, rusty or gold and as you can see with this set the majority of this set is silver and gold so the rusty aesthetic doesn't really work very well with this set. There could be a way of changing it when you get it I don't really know. Specifically right now we only really have the gold and silver set that you can see here. I don't know if it will be a rusty variant of the heritage armor that would be pretty cool though I would actually be pretty down for that uh, but yeah blizz make it happen give me the rusty heritage armor set because this is just way too pristine if you're going to be a rusty boy so yeah as I said this does come with a cloak as well and I do love this cloak it's actually super unique uh, it has a massive 3d asset on the top of it there and it just looks so metallic and really interesting and very detailed for a cloak a lot of cloaks not that detailed and not that nice and this actually looks genuinely pretty great actually and it matches really nicely with the rest of the set. The set does have some 3D assets as well as you can see there on the top of the chest which matches nicely with the big belt buckle and the belt buckle matches the aesthetic of the of the cloak. It's a very matchy set and it looks really good but obviously with the mechanomes you can do that face customization so if you did want that to show or your moustache or hair or anything like that you will have to take the helm off because there is absolutely no clipping with this set. I did suspect that potentially there was going to be some clipping with moustaches. Uh, I saw it on the Wowhead model viewer and I instantly got scared, but it looks like in-game uh, the moustaches and hair are not clipping as of right now, which is really great and I, I'm happy to see that not happening because to be honest it just wouldn't make any sense that you're clipping through a metal helmet there. So yeah, it's a pretty neat set. Again, very Mechanome and I think this is a nice way of Blizzard giving the option to go full robot uh, without doing it as a customization option. And I'm pretty interested to see what people will come up with combining this set with other sets 
and kind of make it something pretty unique for the Mechanomes, and, and that should be pretty good coming into patch 8.3. I also absolutely love the shoulders on this set. You can see inside there, it's kind of like, it's like Tony Stark's chest in there, just spinning around big blue lights everywhere. You have that on the chest and the eyes and the shoulders. Really, really great looking stuff. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Do let me know down below what you think of this set. Is this something you like? Are you going to roll Mechanome? Are you pretty disappointed with the fact that we got Mechanomes? Personally, I'm probably going to race change, I think. I'm really not sure. I'm still on the fence about it. The fact that we can't have fleshy arms and legs does kind of concern me, but I don't know if that will come in in a later build. But as of right now, we can only have metallic legs and arms. I wouldn't mind like one normal arm or something like that, but yeah, we'll see what happens. But guys, as I said, do let me know what you think of the set. Let me know what the Mechanomes. That's pretty much it. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to our amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you want to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you'd like to, and subscribe if you haven't also got a part of the Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And I'm also now streaming on twitch.tv slash GM. If you do want to check me out on stream, I'm uh, going to be streaming pretty much every day over on twitch.tv slash GM. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.